Hi, I'm Nano, and I welcome you to my Lost Ark PvP field of view and camera guide. Lost Ark is an isometric RPG with a diagonal top-down camera view. Save for a few circumstances, you can't really move or rotate the camera, it's fixed to your character. So understanding how the camera works in PvP and how it affects a field of view is pretty significant if you want a competitive edge. The first thing, and arguably the most important to shout out, is Lost Ark has native ultrawide support. As someone who's had an ultrawide monitor for a while, this makes me really happy. Sadly, in PvP, this means that not having an ultrawide resolution results in a smaller field of view. Look at the view difference as I overlay a 16x9 aspect ratio over my 21x9. As my camera goes further, I get to see more than others who don't have a 21x9 aspect ratio. You can see that the cutoff point for someone of a lower aspect ratio is quite significantly shorter than my own. But don't worry, the game isn't going to force you to buy an ultra-wide monitor just to be competitive in PvP. It knows that this may give an unfair advantage, so it accommodates for it. If you go into video settings, you see a forced 21x9 aspect ratio option. That way, everyone can have an equal playing field, whether you have an ultra-wide or not. Sometimes though, you get hit from off screen. But if you have Force 21 by 9, it can't be their screen. To you, they were off screen. But to them, well, you were openly in their field of view. You didn't get hit by chance. But why is that exactly? When you spectate a match, the camera is flat with the stage. For players, however, the camera is tilted. You notice the stage doesn't quite line up. What should be a straight top and bottom is at an angle instead. Worse yet, it isn't tilted in the same way for both teams. Despite being on the same stage, your enemy's camera is angled in a different direction. They see the stage one way, and you see the stage the other way. The lines intersect. You should be able to tell, but there is a 90 degree shift in perspective from one camera to another. Hopefully the footage can help make a little more sense of what's going on, but it is a little easier to understand if we look at it from a neutral view. Let's overlay some rectangles on top of players. You can see that the top and bottom of the red team's camera lines up with the sides of the blue team's camera. There's the 90 degree shift. This means that there are times that one player can see the other, but the other can't see them back. When in PvP, you have to keep this in mind at all times. Remember, the top and bottom of your screen are the sides of your enemy screen. And since screens are wide rectangles and not squares, it means they may see you when you can't see them. The same applies to them though, so you can use this to your advantage. Let's show some examples here so you can see just how it all works from both perspectives. Here's a scene from one point of view. And now the other. If you look at both together, you can see just how significant it is. You may just be walking across the map, and you won't even realize that someone may be chasing right after you. It's all the more noticeable when overlaid. By drawing a line, we can see more or less the level of advantage that looking from the sides can give. Though it's important to call out how the timer at the top and the HUD at the bottom can influence one's field of view. The distance in which someone can't be seen directly above or below is lower than if they are slightly to the sides. This is because the UI can get in the way of your field of view. You can use Alt X to hide the timer at the top. This will let you see further up. But do keep in mind that this does hide the hard CC resistance bar, so be wary when doing this. With this in mind, let's redraw some of the lines. If the timer and skill had hide someone, then this line is a cutoff point. If they don't, however, then this line is a cutoff point. The takeaway from this is that being in a diagonal position is bad if your enemy is to the sides, but good if they're above or below you. Don't forget though, that people can still hide the timer at the top, even if it costs them the hard CC bar. And in ranked matches, the timer is a lot smaller and more transparent than casuals or customs. Always assume the worst when approaching from the enemy's top side. Now that we've gone over the strange gimmick that is Feud of View and Lost Ark PvP, let's summarize what we've covered. First and foremost, a 21 by 9 aspect ratio can give an advantage in PvP, so make sure to use the force setting if you don't have an ultra-wide or you have a handicap on your Feud of View. 
when going to PvP, cameras are skewed. What you see and what the enemy see is quite different. The camera shift is about 90 degrees. Try to remember, the top and bottom of your field of view will be the widescreen sides of your enemy's field of view. So always be wary of players directly above or below. Someone might be right behind you and you won't even know it, so move accordingly. But keep in mind the extent of the effect varies due to the timer and skill heard. A cutoff point here will start to change and go over here when someone moves to the sides. So next time you get rushed from off screen, remember that even if you couldn't see them, they could see you. That's all I have to share with you guys when it comes to feud of view and camera in Lost Ark PvP. Sometimes you may be caught by things completely outside of your feud of view. It goes both ways though, and now that you know how the camera works, you can position yourself in such a way enemies just won't see you coming. Special thanks once again to my friends who helped me with footage for this video. Those that stream or have YouTube channels I've linked in the description. If you're interested in more Lost Ark PvP content, give this channel a sub, or you can come check out my stream at twitch.tv for slash lin underscore no. I'd really appreciate both. Thank you all for watching, and best of luck in the Colosseum.